Welcome to the world of MMOTCGs, now populated by the breakthrough game, Hex Shards of Fate. This is the first digital card game to take the concepts of an MMO and merge them with the depth and breadth of a competitive TCG. Our primary focus in these lessons is going to cover the basics of trading card games and then move through the concepts surrounding competitive play, game formats, spending your money well, deep delves into the game mechanics, and then into the PvE of Hex Shards of Fate. Today, we'll be looking at getting started with Hex. Hex Shards of Fate will be entering the alpha state of game development and allowing a select group of players the ability to work hands-on with the PvP elements of the game. How do you join this group? The best opportunity was the Kickstarter campaign. Contributors were given access to beta, late alpha, as well as other incentives. At this stage of development, the Kickstarter is closed, having raised $2.2 million to enhance the development. One option remains to get into the alpha, and that is the Slacker Backer promotion. Based on the Kickstarter rewards, you can back the game and get several goodies including an invite to the alpha of Hex. Check the links in the description to see all the great stuff you get for a Slacker Backer. Now that you've backed the game, what can you expect? This fall, Alpha will open and allow players full access to every card in the PvP set. You'll be allowed to make decks, play against others, as well as pre-register your screen name and guild names. The goals of the Alpha are to explore all of the cards and help the company test the systems so that when a beta goes live, we'll have a robust and stable system to enjoy the game on. For new players, this may be a confusing time with hundreds of cards, system bugs, and some general instability. Remember, we will not be working with finished product yet, but in exchange, we're going to have four copies of every card in the PvP set with unlimited draft games during this phase. So, we're not collecting cards yet, but we're going to get amazing play power. Now, you may be asking, what are these PvP and PvE terms I keep throwing around? Well, these are acronyms for Player vs. Player and Player vs. Environment. In a PvP game, you're going to face a human opponent and battle their strategy to try to merge victorious. Player vs. Environment, those games you'll face a computer opponent testing your strategy against the game's artificial intelligence. To play, you're going to need a breakdown of exactly how. So to help out with this, check this video link here, or follow the link in the description to follow at your own pace. Hex already has a dedicated community working to help guide new players from novice to experienced Hexer, and you should take advantage of this wealth of resources as we go through these lessons. In our next lesson, we'll learn what should be done during the Alpha phase and how we can make our time during that phase pay dividends. If you want to stay up to date on these lessons as they're released, hit the subscribe button, and if you want to help your friends get prepared for Hex, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Till our next lesson, I'm Mokog, and this is Hex Hunter.